Hello and welcome to the Cheapskate channel. This is your resource for how to get things done without spending a lot of money. Welcome. Trust me, you're among friends here. I'd like to talk to you about something a little different today, but it still goes under the category of being cheap. Uh, it's how to have a gourmet kitchen in your home and not spend a lot of money for it. I have some information for you on how to outfit your kitchen with the things that you need to fix those fabulous dishes which can taste good and can also be healthy too. Normally a lot of this, uh, a lot of this equipment costs a lot of money but of course being the cheapskate I am I found a number of places where I can acquire this stuff for a fraction of the cost and you can too because they are right in your own neighborhood or in some cases as close as your own keyboard for your computer. Of course the ever popular place to do it and uh, well before I even get into that let me go into a little bit of background here. The things I have in my new gourmet style kitchen is a convection style oven. I have a Vitamix Ooh, this is expensive. Vitamix food processor. Uh, I have a regular food processor, you know, the deal that chops up and stuff like that. Since I'm basically a quasi vegetarian, I have to have that type of thing. I have a dehydrator and a number of other assortments to keep my accoutrements in there. But the thing is, the place where you can go get a lot of this stuff is very, very cheap. Just like uh, if you go to just your friendly neighborhood thrift store is a great resource if you want to buy a food processor. The food processors cost 50 60 70 100 dollars or so. And nine times out of ten, if you go to a couple of places, you can find you a very good and name brand food processor that will slice, dice, and do all these types of things and puree and all this kind of stuff. Uh, for about eight, nine, ten, fifteen dollars. The one I have, I have a GE food processor that I bought at the thrift store. Nice condition. It looks like it'll run forever. I paid four bucks for this thing. Uh, another nice thing that I got at the thrift store is a rice steamer. A rice steamer. Or a vegetable steamer since I've been advised not to eat a lot of rice. So I steam my veggies in there. And I, it was, it's made by Black & Decker. I'm not giving them a plug. That's just who it was by. And uh, $4.04. These things sell for about $20, $30 in the store. Uh, I went to a outfit called ShopGoodwill.com. Yes, it is a website called ShopGoodwill. And it's run by the Goodwill people. I ordered a convection oven from them really nice thing I mean it really is a godsend it cooks about as fast as a microwave but it's healthier because you don't have the microwave radiation in there and uh, it's a uh, very good and very sturdy thing it even has a glass bowl bottom to it where you put your chicken and food and whatever else you have in there uh, I paid ten dollars for it of course it cost me a little bit in shipping because it's kind of heavy but still it beats paying almost a hundred dollars at the store to get a brand new one and this thing was in like new condition oh what else do I have I have a dehydrator that's another thrift store deal I paid five dollars and five cents for that I mean lots of things you can get you can get Vitamix Vitamix parts if you don't like the Vitamix, you can get Ninja, Ninja uh, uh, Blender Park. All these come from the thrift store or you can get them from Shop Goodwill or go to Craigslist. They have a lot of people there who's giving away stuff on Craigslist. Sometimes you go check the free section. You can get a lot of good stuff in the free section, but you have to be Johnny on the spot and you have to be quick to go get it. But always, always when you're online, check Craigslist for your local area. First, check out the free section, then go to the section to look for the stuff you, that you want. You know, you never know. You might find it for free in the, in the free section and not have to spend any money. 
of course that makes it even better but those are some helpful hints for outfitting your gourmet kitchen of course now for silverware and plates you get your great plates at the thrift store knives glassware I mean of course if you've been to a thrift store you know this is a bonanza for this type of thing and it fits right into the frugal person's uh, outline for living life to the fullest because you go spend uh, two or three dollars for a play set of dishes and you don't have to worry about spending those exorbitant amounts that you uh, want to spend you know at, at the regular retail stores and if you can possibly help it never spend retail go thrift go yard sale go free you never know what you're gonna find at the yard sale and then you never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store you can go in there looking for one thing and find two or three other things that you wanted but the key to shopping at thrift stores is to have a circuit of the different thrift stores around and just make your rounds and go regularly because they put out stuff every day if they don't have your convection oven today they might have it tomorrow give you an example before I even knew what the hell those things really were or what they were about I passed out many of them many of them and I could have had them I mean really expensive models once I think back on it so you have to be diligent in shopping it takes time lots of time to be frugal but the rewards really make it worthwhile well this is some information I hope this has been helpful to you and hopefully frugally outfitting your kitchen to gourmet status if this information has been use useful to you please like and share this video and of course please highlight the URL at the top of your web page highlight it and copy right click and copy and paste it to your Facebook Instagram or any other social media page like Twitter LinkedIn Pinterest you know the deal and say hey you can get a gourmet kitchen by listening to this guy that'll send them back over to me I can tell them the thing I told you and everybody can be happy and I can kind of perpetuate my aim in giving people good information on the line so anyway thanks for listening and stay tuned to my channel for the best and most creative ways to save money and be frugal thanks for listening and we'll see you next time